Hi there, Tony from Crew AI. In this video, I'll walk you through how to get started with Crew AI open source framework. Some things we'll cover are how to install Crew AI on your system, how to create the base structure using our YAML file format, and finally, how to run that crew to actually get outputs from it. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I just want to note something for you. We will be following this tutorial based off our documentation that we have on docs.crewai.com. So if you go there, you'll be able to find all the information on introduction to Crew AI, installation, quick start as well. So we'll be following the examples in there to show you how to actually get started. So come here, follow along here, or just watch my video first and then go ahead and do the tutorial afterwards, just following that same structure as well. So let's get started here. Before we install Crew AI and get started with building our agents, we want to make sure that you have Python installed on your system. And as of this recording, the correct Python versions that are compatible with Crew AI is anything greater than 3.10 and less than 3.13 uh, Python versions. So go ahead and download it on python.org slash downloads if you don't have it already. And if you have it, just make sure it's between 3.10 and less than 3.13. And to verify that you've actually successfully installed Python and the right version, just type in Python 3 to check in the version, dash dash version and you should see the version of your Python on your system. For mine is Python 3.127, which is compatible and falls in between those two parameters. So now you're ready to move on to the next step, which is installing UV. So Crew AI uses the UV package and it's a dependency ma management and package handling tool, which is really fast and very efficient. And to install it to your system, we've added some instructions under our Crew AI documentation under install section. So you'll be able to paste those commands depending on the system you have. We have instructions for macOS, Linux, and Windows. So just copy those commands, paste it into your terminal, and then it should install Crew AI automatically. Uh, it should install UV, sorry, into your system so that we'll be able to proceed from there. And to verify that you've actually installed UV, just type in UV version, um, and you'll be able to see the version that you have. If it throws an error, that means you didn't install it correctly. And we've also added a link to the UV installation guide on the UV documentation where they actually help you troubleshoot most of the problems you have with installing UV on any of the systems that you have. So make sure to follow those instructions. Once you run it, you should be able to see that there. And now we're ready to move on to the next step, which is installing Crew AI on your system. The next step for us is to install Crew AI. And the command for install, installing Crew AI is UV tool install Crew AI. This when you run it, it will take a few seconds and it will install Crew AI on your system. One thing to note here as well, if it's your first time running this command, you will probably get a warning at the end once it's installed telling you to, you need to set the path to the, to the package that you just installed so that way it knows where to call it from. And it will give you a short command that you need to run on your system to make sure it's set up correctly. So the command is UE tool update shell. So just run that command and you'll be able to set that for the one time. You won't need to run that subsequently after, after this one time. So. Once we've done that, we just want to make sure that we actually installed Crew AI. So the way to check that is UV tool list, and it would list all the tools that you've installed. In this case, for us is UV. You'll see the version that we have is here is version 0.108.0. That's the current version as of today. So if you're running this in a future date, you're probably seeing a different version uh, than this, which is actually okay. If for some reason you've run this before and you want to upgrade to the latest, Crew AI version, you need to run this command to be able to upgrade it to the new version and UV tool install Crew AI upgrade, uh, dash dash upgrade. Once you do that, you'll be able to get the new version of Crew AI. But for us, since this is the latest version, we'll still keep it the same way because there's nothing else to pull from. So we're done now with the installation process. The next step is for us to actually to create the Crew AI project, the scaffolding or the base of the project that we need to create. So let's go ahead and do that. There's different ways of creating your crews, but the one we recommend is using the YAML template scaffolding, uh, which we provide by running this command, which is for you, you would run crew AI create crew and give it a name for the crew that you want to create and then run it. It will be able to generate the scaffolding for that project. That's what we recommend because it sets up everything for you ready to go. All you need to do is just edit the some few files and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and do this. The agent or the crew that we are creating today is a crew that we'd actually give it a topic maybe AI agent news or something or uh, AI agent framework. So anything of the sort, we'll go do some research on the web using a tool. And in this case, we'll use server dev tool to actually go search on the internet, research the topic, and then pass it to another agent that will do the reporting. We'll create a report and we'll ha finally have a final report file that we can actually read uh, based on what we asked it to do. So let's go ahead and create the scaffolding. So here, crew, I create crew, and we're naming it as latest AI development. And when you run that, it will ask you to pick a provider, LLM provider. In this case, I'm going to pick OpenAI. 
And the model I'm going to use is GPT-40 Mini. And for OpenAI API key, I will not put this right now because you all will be able to see this. Uh, I'll put this manually afterwards. So let's create this page. Once you've done this, you want to CD into the project that we just created. So change directory into the project that we just created. So the project starts with latest development. So that way we're in the right folder when you're working through this. And this is the folder itself in question. And under it, you have knowledge, which is automatically created for you. All these are automatically created. So you have knowledge, which will hold all the knowledge. Maybe you add PDFs or if you want to use knowledge. And then under source, this is where you have your agents under config here as well. So you have agents definitions in the YAML file format. Uh, so you can see here you have the researcher and then you have the reporting analyst agent. And then for tasks, you have the tasks for those two agents there as well. We also have tools here. This is a sample example here for you to kind of build your own custom tool if you want to build your own custom tool. And then we have the crew.py file, which kind of brings all the tools, agent tasks together to orchestrate them uh, so that way you can run all your agents there. And then you have the main, which is main .py, which is the entry point for our agents project. Here is where you pass in any inputs that you need to be passed to the agents to actually run and execute. And that's majority of it. And also we have the .n file here, which is very important. In this case, I picked GPT-4 or mini. If I had added the API key during the process when I was creating the scaffolding, it would have added the API key here. But I'm going to add this manually so you all don't see my API key in this case. And you want to keep that safe. Also, another point for security purposes, make sure that your .env file is added to gitignore. So that way it doesn't get committed to GitHub if you commit them because uh, somebody might get a hand of it and use all your credits or you know spend your money there. So next process here, what we'll do, I'm going to go ahead and add the .env file off camera. And then also after that, we'll go ahead and review the agents and tasks file to make sure it has the descriptions and everything that we need before we actually run our crew here. So let's go ahead and do that. So for your reference, in the .env file, I've added the API keys that I need. And for your reference, I created this .env example to show you what I've added in there. So initially, we had the model, of course, that we've already defined. You also need your API key for OpenAI. So make sure you add that in there if you're following along with this project. And then Serper API key. And you can find this where you would find this is serper.dev. Just go there, create your free API key. They really offer really nice, generous uh, free credits. Add it in here, and then we'll be able to proceed with the project here as well. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and review our agents.yaml file. And this is where we can actually modify the prompts and anything that we need to make sure that it matches the way we want the agents to act in this case. So if you see the researcher here has a, a role, which is the title of it. And you can see here we have in this uh, brackets here, it's more of like an extrapolation of what we have. Uh, this is variable extrapolation from what we have in the main file. So if you go to the main.py file, we've added here topic as AI LLMs, but we can change this to AI agent uh, or anything really for, for that matter. So you can put any topic here that you want it to go research. So in this case, I'm going to put AI agent uh, frameworks um, and maybe open source, maybe open source AI agent frameworks. And the current year is we're using the daytime uh, package to be able to pull the date, the current year. Um, so if we wanted to research specific years, kind of like this year, the most latest information in a sense. So that's the topic. And you can see here in the agents.yaml, we've extrapolated that here. So the agent will be able to get the full kind of context of what we want it to do. So it will be, you know, in this case, it will be open source AI agent frameworks, uh, senior researcher, uh, senior data researcher in this case. And then we have the goal is to uncover cutting edge developments in this same topic that we've all extrapolated from there. And then the backstory for this uh, agent as well, the seasoned researcher with the knack for uncovering latest developments. So it's very important how you craft your prompts to make sure that it actually matches what your intent is and what you want the agent to perform. And then we have the reporting analyst here. And of course, we've added the topic for them. And the goal is to create detailed reports based on the topic that we want it to create on. And then the backstory, they are meticulous analysts, blah, blah, blah. You can add, think of that as more of like their experience if they were human being, for example. And then the goal here is more of like what their job description is. And then their role here is, of course, the title that they hold at whatever uh, company, whatever place and you want to think about this is. And so if we go again to the task, same thing here. We're extrapolating the, the year here, the current year, based on what we have in the main file here as well. And we're extrapolating in there as well. So we have the research task and the reporting task here. And we have the expected output, which is very important. What do we expect them to actually give us as a final output? So you want to make sure that you've explained that correctly, how you want it to be. And then an example here for the reporting task, we wanted it to create a fully fledged uh, report and also make sure it's formatted as markdown without the uh, without this uh, symbols here as well. So, and then we assign the agent to whichever task we need 
done here in this case. So now that we've reviewed that, let's go ahead and check the last few things we need to do. As you can see here in the main.py file, you can see we haven't imported, uh, and this is actually on the crew.py file, we haven't imported uh, the tool. So one of these agents needs a tool to perform their tasks, which is the research uh, agent. And you can see here that it doesn't have the tool, which is a server tool to actually run, go do the search in the web. So we need to add it here. So if you come here and add it from crew AI tools, import serper and it's serper dev tool. So save that. And now we need to pass it to the agent that we want it to run. So if you come here, the researcher agent is the one that needs the serper dev tool. So we need to give it the tool here. So serper dev tool. So now we've assigned this agent, this tool, and it will use it to go do the research on the web. And once it's done, it passes it to the agents. So the other agents, the other agent, the reporting analyst doesn't need this tool because one will have done the research already. We don't want double research in this case. So we are good and ready on that aspect. Now let's go ahead and check out the run that main. We've already set the topic and the current is correct. Now we're ready to run our crew and get some outputs from it. So let's go ahead and run it. So if you come here to the terminal, what you want to do, just make sure you're in the right directory, first of all. So LSL. I know we CD or we'll change directory in here, but you want to make sure that you are in the correct directory first before you run it, because uh, that's another error, potential error that you'll get if you don't do that. So once you've done that, the next step is for us to run the, the, the process and make sure you've added your API keys before you do that as well. So before you run it, you want to make sure that we lock our dependencies and install them. And the way you do that is by running crew AI install. So crew AI install. And if you run that, it should take a few moments here. It will create a UV lock file here. Uh, and that's locked our dependencies and it's ready to go. Now we are ready to run our crew. So crew AI run, and that should be our command to run that. So hit run. It should instantiate our agent here and start running. And you'll see the, the process running here as well. You see the agents getting started, tools being called, tool outputs being outputted, and each agent kind of finishing their task, handing it over to the next agent, and finally getting our final output so one more thing I want you to note as the process is running, if you, for example, need to add a package that wasn't part of the installation, maybe it's a different package that's needed for something else, like maybe Bata 3, right? Maybe you're accessing AWS and using some of the tools there and you need Bata 3. The way you can add it to the project, you just do UV add Bata 3, for example, and it will add it in there and resolve in our UV log file. And then that's how you kind of add it to the package and then run it again. All right. So here you can see that our agent got kicked off. Uh, it started here with the progress. So, and you could see that it actually started using the tool and you see the input that it actually gave it to the tool, which is open AI, uh, which is open source AI agent frameworks, tw uh, 2025 developments. And you could see the outputs. Basically, this is what it went and searched on the web and the inputs it got as well. And this is where it's actually also generating the final answer of what it got. And then finally putting up the report and outputting the report. So that's the final report. And also the final report is saved here under report.md, which we actually wanted it to save there. And let's go ahead and view the entire file. So you'll see that it has sections here as well. And it has very detailed, comprehensive uh, sections here that you can actually see what's, uh, what's going on based on what the researcher did there as well. And that's it. That's the entire AI agent you've built. It's generated a report for us. You can change the topics. You can modify specific things in there to actually fit your needs. But you've essentially, up to this point, created an agent, a crew that actually runs. Congratulations. If you've gotten to this point, you've gone through the process of installing UV, uh, installing crew AI, creating a scaffolding for the project, adding in API keys, and finally running your crew to get outputs. So that's a Great progress so far. Now, the next video, the next tutorial that we're going to go over is how do we get this same agents that we've built, this entire crew? How do we deploy to production on Crew AI Enterprise and actually get the endpoint and do something with it and even trigger it in Crew AI Enterprise? So that's the next step. How do we productionize this current agent that we've built? So on the next video, we'll cover that and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.